What is up, YouTube? This is I Advice Boss back at you with another video. This one is about top 10 productivity apps, or productivity doesn't matter what's the way you pronounce it, for the iPad Air or any other iPad. And let's get started. So, number one, number one is the Puffin Browser. Exit out all the tabs. All right. So this browser, let's say, let's go to YouTube.com. This browser is like a desktop browser, and it plays flash videos, like my shirts. I advice. Boss, just for the sake of the video. There I am. I have my boss. Um, videos. Let's go to. I don't know. Let's go to this one. And it's playing right on here. Like a laptop would, and it doesn't have you don't have to like you know request a desktop type site. It just automatically goes to a desktop site, which is really really convenient if you do are looking for a desktop browser. Like let's say let's go to Google. Google not Google News. Look, just like on the desktop, beautiful. So. That was number one, Puffin Browser. I think it's one nine nine. It was free for a limited time, but that's when I got it. But I think it's one nine nine now. Next one is another browser. It's Google Chrome. Yeah, this is iCloud. Google Chrome. It's a great alternative to Safari. It looks just like the Google Chrome on the Mac or laptop or any desktop. It's amazing because you can request a desktop site again. That's why it's not number one. But like Google, right there, you can simply request a desktop site if it's not in desktop. There's no flash in Google Chrome, but it's a really good alternative. I'm not going to go into great detail with this Chrome because it's very basic but it's the best browser not Safari that's not Safari next up is Google Docs wait never mind not Google Docs it's pages the Apple version of Google Docs Let that load. All right. So it gives all the document layouts. I don't want to show you. Um, let's go to blank. So this is really nice. It's like a word processor. It doesn't lag or anything. It's really nice. It has Helvetica. It has all these fonts. And if you want to know the iOS 7 font, it's Helvetica new light. As you can see. Hi. This is the font that Apple uses. Helvetica new light. If you enjoyed me sharing that, please like this video or comment based on that because that was really nice. I found it on my own. And there's different features here. There's this paintbrush, which allows you to. Whoops. Not that. Here. Bullet number. And you can, you know, make it centered, right size, dial. You know, the basic word processor stuff. And here you can insert videos or graphs. Up here is tools, you know, settings, a password, print. So this is a really nice web browser. Not web browser, sorry. Uh, this is a really nice word processor. And if you don't have Word on your iPad, then Pages is a really great alternative. 
as well as keynote and numbers, but those all go into the iWork package. So I would say iWork is the number two productivity app. So next one, now the next one, is Google Docs. Now Google Docs is really nice, it allows you to share everything. Let me just do something. Alright, it allows you to share everything. And you can view it in any device you want. You can edit it online or offline, which is really nice. But obviously offline it won't save. So it's like a drive, like a Google Drive. And it's really nice and sweet. So, hope you guys download this. This is really nice on the go iCloud like software, but made by Google, which is really nice. Okay, that's Google Docs, which associates with Google Drive, right there. So number four is, I would say, is Amazon. Now at Amazon, you can buy tons of things, tons, 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 and tons. Of things, everything that you want is on Amazon. Like iPhone 5s. Boom! There it is, right there. Woo! That's pricey, but that's with it, without contract. Anyway, it's not the point. The point is, look at this. It's Amazon. Amazing shopping site. Right on an app. I'm not logged in, so my shopping cart is empty. But you can add things to cart, so you can save that. When you're ready to buy it, and remember, I remember Amazon Fire Phone. That's amazing. I'm just advertising it for Amazon right now. So Amazon is number four. Number five, I would have to say Yahoo Weather. I know the Weather Channel is really nice, and it's on my dock. You would think that I would use it most often. I do, but it's not number five because Yahoo Weather. It looks so beautiful. Beautiful very very beautiful like look at that it's night right now and look at that San Fran shows the Golden Gate Bridge right there 61 swipe down just focus right here for you guys swipe down bam 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 boom boom shaka laka all right all this information weather forecast Details, low, high, and you can just swipe to change the city if you want. Tell us what the wind is. Map. So it's really nice. It's animated like that. Really nice. Yahoo Weather. Number five. Number six is the other channel. It is amazing out there, no matter where you live. I think it's amazing. Nature is. So this is Cupertino. Whoa, Apple. 70 degrees. Look, you can just tap right here. It tells you everything right here. And forecast right here. Boom. That looks beautiful. I use beautiful like five times because these productivity apps are just blowing my mind of how nice they are. 85, 83. Look at these. I know there's an ad. I don't think you can get rid of the ads. But just down here, that's like a forecast and hourly. Down here, radar. News, video, health, radar, news, freaky, uh, oh, even more freaky, and health. Alright, so this says news and videos, really nice. So, this is number six, yeah, this is number six. Number six, I would have to say is Picture Pro. Yes, this is a mobile app, that's why it's like weird like this. Um, I will play it sideways or fine, I'll turn it for you guys. And this is Picture Pro, I get once again. You can print anything, web pages, mail, photos, contacts, anything that you want. Right here. You can just simply add one and it'll search for all the pictures available in your network you have to be connected to Wi-Fi 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 all right close list so that was number six let's put this back like this 
All right, yes, I'm doing it number one where it's number 10 best. So, bear with me, guys. I know it usually goes the other way, but I'm not going to do it that way. So, number seven will be iBooks. I will see that version under that's when I did my free books video. Um, iBooks, you can read any book you want over here for educational purposes, for free purposes, for just for fun purposes, for any purposes that pur purposes that you want. And this is re it works really good. It's like reading a book, but it has a lot of features like in diversion. Text, text, voice talk again. Sepia night. It's really cool. I look at my team the font of it. Athlet, athlet, Athelis. Look at that. That's amazing. So that was number seven. Number eight, I would say, is Pen Ultimate. I did a review on Pen Ultimate, the virtual notebook. You can draw, erase, change the colors. And really nice. You can watch my review for more details. But this is like a virtual notebook for iPad. It really works really nice. Better used with a stylus. Number nine would be, I know this might be a little biased, but NBA game time. Who can't go wrong with NBA? Hello, there's my iPhone in the video right there. Who can't go wrong with NBA game time? Summer League, LeBron going to the Cavaliers. This is an amazing app to catch up with any NBA information. If you, you don't follow NBA, you don't follow life. I mean, like, NBA is awesome. So this will be number nine app. You can look at the new games, 2014 draft, 2014 playoff schedule, classic games video on demand. You can, this is League Pass enabled, so you can enable League Pass on here if you have it. And you can watch any game that you want, anytime you want. There's news, and this app's really good, there's tweets. And the last one, number 10, the best productivity app on the iPad Air, or any other iPad. This might sound a little ridiculous, but it is calculator this is an ad x calculator doesn't this look familiar yes it looks just like the ios 7 but has more features i know it has ha ad you can buy you can i think you can uh remove those ads if you want to i don't know how but you can look nine times eight seventy two i need that because I'm smart. Eight times ninety-eight. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that smart. That's why you have the calculator. Because the iPad does not come with a native calculator app. So this app will will really help you. That's why it's number one. Because you can't go wrong with having a calculator. If you're taking to school and like you're wanting to do some math problems, you can't because it's no native calculator app. But now there is with Calculator Pro. I believe this is called. So yeah, that's it. These are the top ten productivity apps. One being the least favorite, ten being the best favorite, but they're all my favorites, obviously. So, I hope you guys like this video. These productivity apps are meant to be productive, obviously, for iPad users. And these, I hope you install these. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, I Advice Boss. And I'll see you later.